Now, a Dundee women's tunnel vision could see part of a former railway line in the city turned into a visitor attraction. The Law Railway Tunnel was once part of the line carrying the east of Scotland's first passenger trains. The, the trains were brought up here originally by the static engine. Uh, it's a little known the, fact the these days flat. that a railway tunnel once ran under Dundee law. The trains stopped rolling in the mid-1800s and the entrances have been built over. Now Deirdre Robertson is on a mission to have the 300 metre tunnel reopened. The big vision would be to open it up again as a world-class tourist attraction and it, it, it has had really interesting history, obviously started off as a railway but uh, it was a mushroom factory, it uh, was an air raid shelter during the war uh, and now it's, it's disused. The tunnel was part of the new tile to Dundee railway line which carried passengers and goods from Strathmore into the city. We have some wonderful plans that show the straight line of going up past Barrack Street and then past Dundee Royal Infirmary um, and then obviously through the law and then out into the countryside. The way that they got the carriages up the law was to pull them up with pulleys. They had stationary steam engines and they were pulled up with pulleys. And there are some articles in newspapers about the accidents that happened when the ropes broke and people who were standing at the end got flattened. Deirdre has also been in talks with none other than Disney about the law's volcanic origins. It's possible we could use the technology that uh, uh, they are researching to maybe do something to do with turning the inside of the, the tunnel back into what feels like an active volcano. It was quite a job to haul the wagons and carriages up and down the law and the proposal to open the railway tunnel is facing its own uphill battle. There's no way in except for a single manhole which is used for inspections so the hunt is on to find the railway sidings. They were closed over in the 1980s and could hold the key to unlocking one of Dundee's hidden treasures. Finally, from